This video is about the Tekinta Basics for radio buttons. Now radio buttons we would recognize as these little devices over here, which is a collection of possible options where you can only choose one. So unlike a checkbox or a series of checkbox, um, I can't select more than one of these buttons at any one time. You can see by selecting one, you deselect the others or deselect the others. So let's have a look at the code that actually allows us to create um, these little radio buttons. So here we are with the code in here. So to start off with, we've done the usual, we've imported to Kinta, we've created our window um, with our usual setup, and um, I put the label at the top here, I've got a display label down the bottom here as well, and I'm running the main loop. So here is the code that actually brings the widget for the radio button in. Now the first thing we need to do is create a tracing variable, and we've talked about those in the past, and these are variables that will um, update their value um, when an action associated with it happens. So in this case, um, we've got a radio control um, and it's a string var or a string tracing variable. And we've also given the uh, initial um, value. So it's actually starting with option one. So that's its default value. Now what we do is that we just create a radio button. And the reason, so we've got, just created a radio button here um, to place the first one. You don't have to give it a name because we're not going to change the values on those. So I created the radio button, put it into the root, give it the text there, the text value of option one. And now this is where we say here, this is the important part, here is the um, tracing variable that the um, radio button is associated with. Um, now that's really important because all of the radio buttons that share the same tracing variable um, will be collected into a group and so you can only choose one of those given um, radio buttons. Um, the value for this one is option one and the command when we click on it we want it to run the display function which we're going to do later on and then we've got to pack it and we do the same there for for the second radio button the third one and the fourth one and again these are all connected and associated with each other because they share the same tracing variable. So it's a tracing variable which ties all those radio buttons together. So quickly let's work on the display command which is a little function up here. So as our function of display, um, basically we want to get, um, get the whatever value, the current value for the tracing variable is radio control. When I get that value, we want to assign it to the variable called response. And then we want to um, update the configuration for the display label with that value. Um, and hence, that's how you create um, a group of radio buttons.